Right now, we go uh, north of the state line, and with me right now, I have the uh, new head basketball coach at Janesville Parker, Keith Miller. And coach, let's talk about a new rule that the uh, Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association has put into place. Uh, this year, when you guys play basketball, you'll be playing halves and not quarters. And what are your thoughts on some of that, especially as a new coach coming in at Janesville Parker? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, for my players, I don't think it'll really make much of an impact on them. They're so used to playing AU basketball and, and playing summer basketball where you have that either 18 to 20 minute halves anyways. Um, and, you know, you, anytime you're taking a kid off the floor, he's always begging to get back on, which is a good thing. Um, for me personally as a coach, it'll just make me monitor my guys a little bit more, those first five guys that are in there, and, and make sure you know that uh, they're going to be able to go um, at the end of the game um, in that second half um, and, and not working, overworking them, because with those extra breaks with the quarters, it was easy to get those guys off the floor towards the end of end of the quarters and uh, give them a little mm-hmm. extra break and get them right back out there um, for the meat of the game. So I don't think it'll impact them. It'll it'll just make me a little more mindful of those first five guys, especially. You know, you told me uh, when we set this interview up that you're going to be going to Fort Atkinson to play in a tournament today. Will they be playing in yeah. halves or quarters? How will they be doing that? Yeah, today? they're playing. They're playing 18 minute halves, so it's a perfect setup for us to get used to that. And uh, one thing about kids, I guess they they can um, doesn't bother them at all. Like you said, that is that a good thing for you? you? Don't have to worry about them. Maybe the parents and the the older fans you may have to worry about a little bit. Well, yeah, and you know, obviously, with ch- any type of change, there's always you know both sides of the argument. Um, but you know, parent wise, I feel like you know, at eighteen minute halves, a longer periods, a longer game. Um, the parents are going to be able to see their kids play longer. They're going to be out on the court. And I remember, you know, just as a player, too, just feeling like some games, you know, without many many calls being made, they just flew by. Mm-hmm. So, and, and you felt, you know, a little disappointed at the end. You wanted to play a little bit more. Um, so you know, a longer game, you know, more kids should get an opportunity that way, too. So hopefully uh, parents understand that side of the coin as well. You know, one of the things they bring up in this discussion is the flow of play will continue better. You won't be slowing the ball up as each quarter ends and, you know, those type yeah. of things. Do you like that part of it, too? I do, yeah. Um, you know, anytime that the game can just have a smoother rhythm to it, I think it's easier for your athletes to stay engaged and, and focus on what they're doing. It's a little difficult, you know, pulling out at the end of the quarter and, and you know, some some guys get a little impatient, whether you are on the offensive end trying to hold for that last shot or you're on the defensive end trying to stay patient and stay in front for that last shot and not foul. So that'll eliminate, you know, two of those situations. You know, when I talked to Deb Hauser today up at the WIAA, she said that, you know, a lot of schools up in that part of the country and even on the uh, western side of uh, Wisconsin play Minnesota, who plays halves already, and they said they really liked it up there. So uh, you guys are kind of spreading it a little bit farther east now. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's a good thing. I I honestly do. Just more of, you know, I just always want to kind of see it through a player's eyes rather than, um, mm-hmm. be selfish and think through my eyes about you know what I'll have to do, um, and I think it, it'll just uh, it'll be a, a little bit more exciting for them. It'll be a change, obviously, and they'll have to adjust a little bit. But they're so used to it with this off-season basketball stuff. And uh, they're going to do a one-year trial to make sure everything's okay because they did it a couple years ago, and it was for 16-minute halves when they allowed it. They added the extra two minutes because people thought that was the best way to do it. Are you are you good with that? Maybe they have to, if they have to make some adjustments after that first year. Yeah, I'm glad that if they're if they're going to have so that they are extending the game time a little bit longer. Um, you know, with the the, the clock moving quickly. Um, you know, hopefully. With the rhythm of the game, there will be less calls, and guys will be able to adjust a little bit better to the referees. Um, so it'll it'll just be a little bit, um, you know, a little bit more satisfying for them. Do you think the foul situation will change? You'll have an extra few minutes and things, and and you know you only get five for a kid, so maybe with the extra time that yeah. might change. I think that's kind of the the big one. There is you know really monitoring that foul situation, make sure make sure guys aren't picking up that cheap foul in the first, you know, three, four minutes of the half, because that, that definitely will, will change a little bit. 
And, you know, you're coming down uh, this year for the Thanksgiving tournament that uh, Rockford Public Schools is having, so you'll have to play quarters again down here. Not a problem, just play basketball, right? Yeah, it is what it is. got to adjust it, adjust to what you're doing. So, um, you know, I, high schoolers, they're, they're not too worried about that stuff. It'll just be stuff that my coaching staff and I have to make sure that we're on top of. And uh, your thoughts real quick on coming down to Rockford. I mean, it's going to be a pretty good tournament. The Madison School is going to be there. Indianapolis Pike's going to be here. It's going to be a nice mixture of schools. Are, as a first-year coach, are you happy to be able to maybe see some different faces and maybe work on some things? Yeah, absolutely. I'm always excited to play, um, you know, competitive basketball. And that's, you know, one of the first things I said um, when I got the job at Parker is that the Big Eight Conference, you're playing against great basketball programs um, throughout the season, top to bottom. Um, and so this tournament will just get us ready for that, you know, get ready for us to play physical, get ready for us to see, you know, um, guys that are pushing the ball up the floor that are, you know, very athletic. So that's always a good thing. You don't want you don't want to have to, uh, I don't want to say get, play down, but you want to make sure that you're playing that competition that you'll see um, during your conference season. And, you know, you look at it as a first-year head coach. You've been in the uh, Janesville system. What kind of team did you have uh, as you go into this first year? And I know you're going to Fort Atkinson to play in that tournament today. Yeah, I'm really excited about the guys that I have right now. They are, they're working hard already. They're excited. Um, you know, we're, we've already we're going through growing pains right now, just uh, adjusting to uh, different offensive and defensive schemes, but they're really handling it well. Um, and they're really showing up to the gym, wanting to learn, showing up to games, and, and making adjustments um, throughout the game as, as we communicate, you know, what we need to change and what habits we kind of need to break. Um, but I have a really strong group uh, of seniors um, that I really believe uh, are going to take ownership of the team this year and, and really be good leaders and hopefully, um, you know, be role models for, for those underclassmen and uh, the players to come. So. As we cover the state line, we go south of the border for the Illinois part and north of the border. How about a Parker Craig game? Is that still the uh, highlight in Janesville basketball when you guys play each other? There's nothing like a crosstown rivalry. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it doesn't get any better. Um, I grew up in Milton, so mm-hmm. I, I was very aware of the crosstown rivalry. And, and Milton was always, you know, we always got up to play Janesville um, Craig and Janesville Parker, but um, experiencing it as having you know some stake in one side of that rivalry last year there is there is nothing like that uh, crosstown rivalry regardless of where our programs are at with you know me being a first year coach there's there's always going to be that uh, that sense of pride of, of you know who's who's the basketball team in Janesville well, Coach, thanks for taking time out as we get ready for a new basketball season. We'll be here before you know it, and uh, we'll have yeah. to we'll have to find out. We'll come visit you when you're in Rockford and check that out as well. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate the time. We've been talking to Janesville Parker's new head basketball coach for the Vikings, Keith Miller, for the StateLineSportsHub.com. I'm Dave Schmidt.